Core is a live streaming cloud service that offers network bonding, multi-streaming, cloud device management, point-to-point -point professional workflows, and more. In this quick start video, we will show you how easy it is to create a new Core account and start bonding and multi-streaming with a compatible encoder. Visit Core Cloud TV and click the Sign Up button. Choose the plan that works best for you. You can always change your plan later. You can sign up with your information or use Google, Facebook, or Apple to sign up. We'll use a Google account for this example. Enter your preferred payment method. With the basic plan, you won't be charged until you use Core to stream. Click Next, then confirm your details and click Complete Registration. Congrats, you're signed up to Core. Click Go to your Core account to get up and running. The functions of Core are grouped into tabs. Let's introduce each of them. You'll first be presented with the Dashboard tab. This is where all connected and online encoders and sources will be displayed. The Core TV tab is all about onset streaming and collaboration. The QoS, or Quality of Service tab, will show graphs of the bitrate, frame rate, and signal strength of any connected devices. The Sources tab shows all your connected encoders and ingested streams, whether they are online or offline. Destinations is where you can create streaming destination channels like Facebook, YouTube, RTMP, etc., as well as add decoders for point-to-point -point workflows. Servers is where you can launch and control your streaming servers, which are the backbone of Core's streaming workflows. Recordings is where you will find streams that were either recorded in the cloud or backed up using store and forward technology. Let's connect our first encoder and start streaming to multiple destinations. We'll be connecting a Cube encoder, but you can also use a Video Go, Wave, Prism Flex, Prism Rack, t rex Slice, and Bond. Each encoder may have different ways of connecting to Core, so check your specific encoder's documentation. We'll be using the Cube's web UI, clicking on Cloud Services, and clicking on the Core button. Since we used a Google account, we'll click Authorize Your Device to get a code to copy. Then go to our Core Sources tab and click on Add Encoder. Then paste the code to authorize the device. On encoders other than the Prism series, you are required to choose a streaming engine, aka server. Click Apply when done. After a moment, the cube will be connected to Core and automatically start bonding all network connections and stream video to the cloud. On your Core account, your connected encoder and video preview will show up both on your dashboard and sources tabs. You can now also view streaming stats in the QoS tab. We'll enter the cube's encoder details by clicking on its name in the dashboard. You'll be able to view a preview, see its stream strength, check and edit encoder settings, and add destinations. Let's start sending our stream to some destinations. In the Channels section, you can click on the Link button to add any destinations you have already set up. We don't have any set up yet, so we can click Create to start adding some. Alternatively, you can click the Destinations tab and click Create Channel. We'll start by logging into a YouTube channel and setting up an event. Then we'll log into a Facebook account and create an event. We can choose to stream to our timeline, a page, or a group. Finally, we'll add an RTMP destination, copying and pasting the RTMP URL and stream key. We'll make sure Auto Reconnect is enabled to continue streaming in case there's an interruption. Now that we have a nice collection of destinations, we'll return to our encoder's encoder details page and click Link and choose all of these destinations and click Link. Now all of these channels are ready to start streaming simultaneously with the Go Live All button. Now we're live on all platforms. You can also start and stop destinations individually if needed. We'll also start cloud recording to save a backup to Core. You can enable auto record so all video is automatically recorded each time you stream. When our event is done, we'll click Stop Live All to simultaneously end streaming on all destinations. We'll also stop recording. Once it's processed, you can view your cloud backup recording in the Recordings tab, as well as download it. We've only scratched the surface of what Core can do. Please check out our other tutorials to learn how to utilize the other features of Core.